Well, what's up everybody welcome back to some more WWE Supercard and from my prediction of last time I did mention that there was going to be a Divas PCC including these two which is Nikki Bella and Paige I pretty much was kind of uh, you know didn't knew if it was going to happen or not because they kind of said they weren't going to do a Divas event but for some reason they did and they stick to it and they and for some reason they became a, a PCC instead of a Road to Glory which is better because only 200 people would be able, will be able to uh, obtain this but the competition is going to be very 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 tough it is probably going to be tougher than the first event which was the Brock Lesnar one who knows this might even go up to even more than 23,000 points for 200 and top 5 will probably be insane as well but remember last time how I got the predictions of the stats right from Kevin Owens well I'm gonna give it another try and see if I get it right this time so pretty much I was kind of surprised when I did this because you know their stats were not like whoa but it's pretty much kind of similar to a Wrestlemania Diva as you guys can see, uh, I do have my WrestleMania Pro Diva, and yes, yeah, like pretty much the same, but just kind of like a hundred more stats. Not a hundred, but you know, each stat is about at forty-three hundred. So, looking at that, uh, you know, with the help of support, you could easily beat this car with your WrestleMania Pro Diva, not the event, but the regular one. So pretty interesting how the matches are gonna work like, but pretty much you know the tough uh, any match with toughness Paige wins, and any match with power pretty much Nikki wins except for power and toughness which I think Paige does win because they don't get the proc on those speed and charisma. So it's pretty uh, speed and charisma is another different story, but what pretty much I wanted to do was get my King of the Ring going. As I did, uh, you know, surprisingly, I did win the finals. You know, none of us, he th basically didn't even try. So I might as well, uh, you know, give it a shot. So we are going to get an extra survivor card. And, you know, survivor card doesn't matter. But we're going to see what is going to be the WrestleMania card. Hopefully, there is a diva coming out of this. It would be so amazing. But let's get on and claim the rewards. And we're going to get. Jay Uso, who I probably I don't even know if I have this guy. So let's get on to the survivor, and the survivor is gonna be Yokozuna. I think I had this guy already as a pro, so pretty much feeding. So let's see, let's go to combinable real quick. And you guys can see I still haven't uh combined Kevin Owens yet. So let's see. Oh, nice. I got the other Uso then. So yes, I could actually be able to work on these two Usos once the PCC comes. And yeah, that'll be pretty much it. Ted DiBiase, I don't think I'm going to touch him. Because he is kind of like the weakest card in the WrestleMania tier. So there's no need for, uh, you know, to grab him. But one thing's for sure, the rewards are kind of decent, the undercard rewards. Which, Dean Ambrose, of course, is a good card to obtain. If you're looking to get to top 5, or either the single WrestleMania card. And pretty much the survivor cards are kind of like a power. Like, if you're looking for a kind of a power or a yellow arrow, survivor cards will be your main goal. And pretty much, you know, people who want a better diva than a WrestleMania single card and the extra support, you know, here it is. I think this was going to be pretty much tough to get to here. Even this one is going to be tough. There are single WrestleMania cards. But we'll see what happens as it gets started. But yeah, who are your predictions of who's going to win this PC? Is it going to be Nikki Bella or is it going to be Paige? Me, I'm going for Paige, even though there is some kind of like a pro and con that she is a yellow arrow, which means 
she won't be able to have as much tag teams. So we'll see if Game Dad actually changes the arrow. If not, then it'll be fine. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting because people are gonna choose Nikki Bella just because I think for that arrow of the tag team. So now with this being said, hope you guys did enjoy this video. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one.